When the sun rises, I wake up and chase my dreams. I won't regret when the sun sets, cause I live my life like I'm a beast. What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. That any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream. As we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. People who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you. That in the process of working on your dreams, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that it's possible that I can have my dream. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances. What you will realize is that you are more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. And I got what it takes. This is my day. And nothing out here is going to stop me. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. You can win anything. Telling yourself every day, this is my day. I have got to do it. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. Your gifts can take you many places. If you develop your gifts, ask your question, how much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. How much time do you have left? It's not an easy path. It's no longer suitable for your course of action. You've hit the wall someplace, you've looked in the mirror too many times and haven't smiled. You want to change the situation, move from where you are. The journey is not easy. But before you start that journey, mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, or a couple weeks into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? When you lose sight of the purpose, you get too much value of what the pain is today. We always invest today, sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. But if we don't know what that betterment is, the want factor of what we're really doing it for, we can't win this war, guys. Once you find out your want, regardless of what it is, and you combine the mind and the body together, that's when life gets exciting, guys. You have a capable body to do whatever you want. We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? Dude, you're unstoppable. I promise you guys, if you think you can do it, guys, your body will find a way to make it happen. Everything's a mental state, guys. I'm, I'm fucking doing it. I'm actually saying I was gonna do something, I'm following up and making it happen for a change. That's a, that's, that's a role model right there, guys. That's what you wanna be. How do we keep the motivation alive, guys? I'm gonna give you five things. You gotta get a partner, you gotta track your results. 
you've got to find in a future event that makes today reliable and accountable. Four, you've got to find a new atmosphere at times. And the fifth thing is you've got to have the right plan of attack. If you guys mentally believe you can do it, your body will find a way to fucking make it happen for you. If you guys have any doubt, it's too fucking hard. Seriously, guys, if you guys have any doubt you guys can't win this war, don't even try it. This is gonna take everything you have to do it. And once you do that transformation, guys, the golden egg lasts forever. And what is it about motivation, guys? You know, I can tell you, you can learn it, you can teach it, you can study it, whatever you want to do. But if you don't go to the gym and apply it, the fuck you do, the fuck you do, the fuck you do. People ask me all the time, what is the secret to success? So my first rule is, find your vision and follow it. You see, I think it's the most important thing that we have a very clear vision of where we go. A goal, where, where do we go? If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, you just drift around. You're not going to be happy. This is why it is so important to have that vision. I smile because I know exactly that every rep that I do, that every set that I do, every weight that I lift, I get one step closer to turning that vision of mine into reality and becoming that Mr. Universe. Because I knew that every rep got me closer to standing on that stage as a champion. I could not wait to lift another 500 pounds in the squats. I could not wait to do another thousand sit-ups. As a matter of fact, when I lifted weights, I didn't really feel like I was lifting weights. I felt like I was lifting a trophy over my head. Now my second, my second rule is never ever think small. If you're going to accomplish anything, you have to think big. You have to go and shoot for the stars. The biggest challenge most people have is because they think small, because they're afraid to fail. I say to myself, hey, I'm not worried about failing because that's part of life. That the only time you really consider the failure is if you fall and you don't get up. But if you get up, you never consider the failure. So I never considered myself a failure. I always considered myself a winner even though I fell every so often, but I always got up and I always moved forward. I never had any patience, of course, for sm thinking small. If you do something, then go all out and do it well. And this is not just the case in bodybuilding. I didn't just want to be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the greatest bodybuilder of all times. I wanted to win the most trophies, the most world championship titles. I just wanted to be the best. I don't want to be an icon. I want to be an idea. You know, I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent magic. Like there's a, there's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening make a choice right you just decide what it's going to be who you're going to be how you're going to do it just decide and then from that point the universe is going to get out your way just decide i just believe that you really can make what you want. I just believe that. I can create whatever I want to create. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that we are who we choose to be. Only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, you might be all of those things, you got it on me, but if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things, you're getting off first, or I'm gonna die.
It's really that simple. It's such a simple, basic concept. The guy who is willing is going to be the guy to hustle the most. It's such a simple, basic concept. I'm going to get back in, or I'm going to be dead. You're not going to outwork me. It's such a simple, basic concept. I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. Is that too much to ask? Are we asking too much for that? Is it beyond our reach? Because if it is, then we are nothing but sheep being herded to the final slaughterhouse. I will not go down that way. I choose to fight back. I choose to rise, not fall. I choose to live, not die. What's within me is also within you. That's why I ask you now. Join me. Rise up with me. Rise up on the wings of this slain angel. We can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that in. That's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit. And not pointing fingers saying, you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. When you really want it, baby. You better hear what your boy is saying. You better feel me. Principle number one, never, ever, never, ever, never, 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 ever give up on your dream. Listen to me. That mental picture, never let it die out. Never, ever let it die out. I don't care how much time pass. I don't care what happens, circumstances, situations. I don't care what de defeats, what upsets. I don't care what happens in your life. Listen to me and listen to me very carefully. You better never, ever, ever, never, ever give up on your dream. Never let the mental picture, the picture that you painted, listen to me, whatever you saw, whatever you said you were going to accomplish, whatever you said you were going to do, never ever, I know, I know repetition deepens the impression, never ever, never ever, ever, never. 
Let your dream die. Never ever, never ever, never ever, 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 never ever, ever give up on your dreams and your goals, all right? give up immediate pleasures right for future success when you want it as bad as you want blood sweat tears when you really want it baby right if you're willing to make some sacrifices you can have what you want do what you want be what you want Discover your gift. If you want to blow up, right? If you want to get to the top, right? If you want to make your dreams become a reality, you got to you got to discover your own gifts. Discover who are you? Once you discover your gift, you find out who you are. You're not aimlessly walking around the world. When you discover your gift, perfect your gift, go from average to good to great. It's phenomenal. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stop being average looking for what the great get. Or stop being good looking for what the phenomenal get. Perfect your gift. And then finally, once you get that gift, baby, give me a huge face. Give your gift away. It's do or die. Look, ain't no more talking. I'm pumped up. That moment, if you want this moment for the rest of your life, like if you ready to take your game to the next level, and whatever it is, sports, life, business, whatever it is, health, listen to me very closely, you gotta change that mindset. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening. Opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. What you got to do is you heard it, you heard it, you read you read it. I sent it out on Twitter. I told you, champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's, that's what separates them. That's the difference between the greats. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy go. When you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breath, breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. You find a way to make it happen.